What's good? What's good? We are back. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, aka Triple P, aka the Common Sense Podcast. Your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much more. Today, I'm going to react to something that really hits home to heart for me because I'm a hip hop artist. I promote a lot of hip hop music. I would not be where I am today without hip hop music. Um, so I'm going to react to Nori removing the Drink Champs interview with Kanye. And apparently I just found out that one of my former favorite hip hop artists, Joyner Lucas, removed the Yay Not Crazy music video. Before I react to that, though, I'm going to give you a word from one of our sponsors. That lit, that, lit, that, slap. that slap, it is that one. Egg bite talking about this new drink. They like that's that turn, that lit, that slap. It is that one, that egg bite talking about this new drink. Let's go. That's right. They like, do you dizzle? Yes, I dizzle. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Just throw your dizzle on ice. And it's nice. Check us out at dizzlebrand.com. Click on our locations. Scroll down. Click on one of the top three links. And you can order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur. Must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Below that is locations in California, Oklahoma, Kansas. And available in 50 stores in Arkansas. Let's go. Also, get the merch. Go to DizzleBrand.com. Click on the Dizzle Brand store. Here's one of the fresh T-shirts, the black and gold. You know, nice, strong colors. Um, I'm not going to react to a video today. I'm going to react to Nori deletes the Drink Champs Kanye interview. And I just found out today that apparently Joyner Lucas removed Yay Not Crazy from all the streaming platforms, and he removed the official music video. Uh, first word that comes to mind, cowards. Cowards. Second word that comes to mind, puppets. Puppets. Um, what's the third word that comes to mind? Hypocrites. Hypocrites. This is, has to be the most hypocritical shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Rappers censoring Rappers. I mean, let's pump the brakes here. Rappers say the most degrading shit on the fucking planet. How do I know? I promote rap music for a living. <laughs> I promote rap music for a living. And other genres as well. Pop, R&B, country, whatever, you know. Um, but I promote a lot of rap and hip-hop music. And guess what they are? The most degrading entertainers on the planet. See, because, you know, actors, we know actors are always active. You don't know what rappers are acting and not acting. I mean, a lot, we know a lot of rappers are fake. They're acting. They're putting on a show. It's a gimmick. But even if they are, they're still saying selling the most degrading shit on the planet. You know, they're talking about doing drugs, robbing people at gunpoint, killing people, uh Fucking bitches, doing Molly, sipping syrup. They're just talking about all the most negative and degrading shit on the planet. And you're going to sit here and apologize. And, 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 and Nori's going to have the nerve to sit there and apologize for what Kanye said. I mean, Nori's actually worse than, than Joyner Lucas, who used to be one of my favorite artists. No more. I've lost all respect. Another word that comes to mind double standard because hypocrisies are double standards i mean rapper like luther campbell fought so hard in the early 90s when the government was literally trying to censor hip-hop the government ever since hip-hop started and gangster rap came ever since gangster rap was invented they have been trying to censor hip-hop what was Nori? Nori was a fucking gangster rapper. 
trying to censor somebody who's not even a gangster rapper. Um, even if Kanye is saying these things off of wax, off of the song, you are still a hip hop artist and a rapper trying to censor another fucking rapper. You got to be the fucking biggest hypocrite on the fucking planet, man. It's the most hypocritical. I mean, I've seen some hypocritical shit in my times. I talk about a lot of hypocri- hypocritical shit, double standards on this podcast. This has to take the fucking cake. I mean, Nora, you're a fucking puppet. You were literally a fucking gangster rapper trying to cancel somebody for free speech. And, you know, like I posted on Facebook and the first person to react to it and love it was a person of color. Uh, Offensive speech and free speech are one and the same. They're the same fucking thing. And anybody who thinks otherwise is a fucking complete idiot, a jackass, a fucking moron. This is why this is the common sense podcast, because that's common sense. Not all speech is peaches and cream and nice. Sometimes the truth is ugly. It's not always pretty. Sometimes the truth hurts. Get over it. You know, it's nobody's job and responsibility to censor, or no, not censor, but um, to cater to sensitive people. You know, and I grew up in a, this generations are just really getting softer and weaker. My grandfather's generation was super tough. Like you literally moved out when you were age 16. You worked on a farm for three meals a day in a roof over your head. Not a penny to your fucking pocket, man. These motherfuckers nowadays, if they don't get a cell phone by age 14, they're crying and bitching all sensitive like some little crybabies, man. No, this dude, fuck. Fuck trying to save the, the, um, I can't even think right now. I'm so pissed about this. Fuck trying to save the climate. These dumb, these young kids are so fucking dumb anyways. They're going to, they're not going to make it anyways. They're going to fucking obliterate themselves and annihilate their fucking selves, man. Like, let's pump the brakes. We're we're worried about the climate saving the future. Have you seen the future of the fucking next generation? It doesn't look well. These motherfuckers don't know shit, you know? And that's probably why they're out here trying to censor all these facts. Because they don't know shit. So, Joyner Lucas, um, you should be ashamed and embarrassed of yourself. You're a fucking coward and a puppet. And you got the nerve to remove the video because you're afraid of the pressure. First of all, you ain't working hard enough anyways, fucking joiner. You ain't making enough good music no more anyways. You're not doing what got you to where you are anyways. You've cle- you've clearly turned your back on your fan base and sold your fan base out for a bunch of commercial mainstream bullshit. And Nori, if, don't let me find out that Capone is a puppet and a coward like you. I've lost all respect for you as a man, as a fucking human being. Um, You're a little fucking, you're you're not a man. You're not a man. I'm sorry. I'm not going to call you what I want to call you because you'll get offended. But uh, you're not a man. I mean, any fucking buddy that's a coward like Nori is no fucking man. This guy was literally a gangster rapper saying some of the most degrading shit. Loved his album. Loved loved the Capone Nori album. Loved Nori's artist. But he said some of the most degrading shit on the fucking planet. And you got the nerve to sit there and try to cancel somebody because they said things that people don't agree with. And to be honest, uh, what Kanye said about black people being the real Jews is facts. Facts. Real Jews are not white. Real Israelis are not white. They are just the European white people that conquered Israel at some point. The original Israelis were not white. You know, life began in Africa, do we not forget? Even the Caucasian male migrated from Africa. To the Caucasus Mountains. They migrated from Africa to the Caucasus Mountains. 
you know, like I'm saying it. These people that call themselves Jews today are not real people. Their ancestors were not really from Jerusalem or Israel. Their ancestors conquered Israel and Jerusalem. That one, Israel and Jerusalem has been conquered over and over and over and over again. The French conquered it. English conquered it. Um, Arabs took it back after French conquered them and took it from them. You know, um, we don't know if who had it before the Arabs. We don't know. You know why we don't know? Because none of us were here at the beginning of time. We have no real evidence, you know. So, yeah, man. I know I'm going off track a little bit, man, but this really hits home for me because I'm a hip-hop artist. I promote hip-hop for music for a living. And with Nori and Diddy and Joyner Lucas and all these people out here trying to cancel Kanye, the only thing they're doing is helping people now bring back up this attack of or ammunition of going after and censoring hip-hop music again. That's all you're doing. You're assisting on censoring hip-hop music once again. After Luther Campbell fought so hard to not have hip-hop music censored, you're literally giving them ammunition and basically siding with them so they could try to censor hip hop music. I mean, come on, man. You make a living off of hip hop music. And you're literally trying to assist in censoring it. You might not be smart enough. You know, I would think Joyner Lucas and Nori and Diddy would be smart enough to know that their actions are assisting and giving ammunition to helping go back and attack hip hop music and try to censor it. Once again, like the early 90s, which was 1994 to be exact, when Luther Campbell won this, you know, case against the Supreme Court because they were trying to censor Two Live Crew because Two Live Crew was very, very sexually explicit in their music. But you know what the number one solution is? When you don't like something that you hear, you don't have to fucking listen. You don't have to listen. So this idea that, oh, um, you know, the only so solution is be sensitive. Hell no. Go, fuck off. Fuck off. I mean, fuck you. The, the simplest solution is if you don't like what somebody has to say, you don't listen. That's what I do when I don't like people that... They say shit. You know, I, I I don't like the view. I don't like what they say on the fucking view all the time. Because they say a bunch of fucking hypocritical, double standard, bullshit, horse shit. Bunch of lies and a bunch of bullshit. So you know what I do? I don't listen to the view. I don't sit there and watch it every day and cry like a little bitch and a little baby and get fucking sensitive. And that's what you motherfuckers do. You sit there and you listen to Kanye every day. And you get sensitive with you. I don't like what he has to say. Then don't listen to him. It's that simple. But this idea you got to cancel him because you're a sensitive little bitch. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. I'm sorry. This is probably the most cussing I've done on a podcast ever. Because I said, like I said, this is an attack on fucking hip-hop music. That's what the fuck this is. An attack on hip-hop music. A let's censor hip-hop music. Let's Because even if Kanye's not fucking rapping, he's a hip-hop artist. And the fact that you're censoring him is an attack on fucking hip-hop. You're helping to assist on censoring hip-hop. You hypocritical, double-standard, coward, puppet, motherfuckers. Nori and fucking... And P. Diddy's a puppet and a coward, too, because he probably doesn't even fucking own Revo outright. And there was probably some Jewish people fucking over him, telling him, yeah, you got to censor this shit because we're some sensitive little bitches when we're not even really Jews. Our ancestors are not even really from Israel. They just conquered it at one point. That's facts. No white people are real fucking Jews or real Israelis. Whites migrated from Africa to the Caucasus Mountain. Caucasians, Anglo-Saxons, whatever the fuck you want to call us. And let me get this out of the way too. If I have a guest come on 
and calls me a honky or cracker or a mayonnaise mammal like Charlemagne the God, you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to remove the fucking interview. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to remove the interview. I might sit there and say, what the fuck do you say? Oh, fuck you. Uh, you know, this interview is over. I might. But then I might not. Because I don't really get that sensitive over honky and cracker and mayonnaise mammo and white bread and anything. I honestly think when I hear mayonnaise mammo out of Charlemagne the God's mouth, I, I think that's the funniest racial slur I've ever heard in my entire life. And I don't get offended because I'm a big fan of Charlemagne the God. Um, I don't agree with everything he has to say, but there's there's a lot of things I do agree with. Like Charlemagne seems to, to come from a position of common sense, common knowledge, you know, and that's really what people are failing to re- apply to all these things. Common sense, common knowledge, because if, Nori, and I'm going to say it again, if Nori and Jordan Lucas and P. Diddy had any common sense or common knowledge, they would understand that they were assisting and giving ammunition to this woke mob to go after and censor hip-hop music. Because if you think they're just going to stop with censoring podcast people and social media content creators, you're dumber than a fucking bag of bricks. You got to be the dumbest motherfucker on the face of earth if you think this cancel culture, this censorship stops at just content creators on podcasts or social media. No, this it will include movies, music, and any fucking form of entertainment that you can fucking think of, you jackass and you morons that are fucking assisting and censoring fucking hip-hop when you're a fucking hip-hop artist. It's the most hypocritical stance on the planet I've ever seen. Uh, all right, let's uh show you this little video. Check us out. This is the new little apparel t shirts right here for all you dog lovers and animal lovers. You know, um, check us out. New little apparel, you can get the t shirts at promopals.biz as you see scrolling down below. Also, you can go to SD forward slash shop forward slash new litter design. I will throw the links in the description as well. So check us out. New litter apparel for all dog lovers. And as well, we got the Dizzle t-shirts right here that you can get on dizzlebrand.com. You know, so check us out. Support the merch. Support the podcast. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, your comments ain't got to be good. Uh, you know, if you want to do bad comments, hey, all engagement is good engagement. Like they say, all press is good press. All engagement is good engagement. Social media is about engagement. And I ain't made it yet until I got haters. Nobody's made it until you got haters. If ever, if if you just got people that, that's the thing, like, that's how we know Dizzle hasn't made it yet. Everybody that's trying Dizzle loves it. And we don't got enough haters yet. And actually, we got a couple haters, but they're more like religious haters. It's not really the same thing because they ain't even tried to the brand. They're just religious, so they're hating on it because, you know, I guess drinking is a sin, which is a man-made uh, analogy. Man made that up. Drinking is not a sin. Drinking alcohol might not be healthy, but it is not a sin. Sins are man made. Um, once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. Um, Paul Pickett Podcast. This is my reaction to Nori removing the Drink Champs interview with Kanye and Joyner Lucas removing the Yay Not Crazy video. Fuck them. They're both cowards, puppets. They're not men in my book. Little punk ass kids as far as I'm concerned. Once again, I thank you for tuning in. Peace and I'm out.